Well, I couldn't resist popping into here. It's Bells Beach. Now, Bells Beach every Easter, um, they run the world's longest continual international pro surfing championships. Happens right down there. I, I think it was used to be called the Rip Curl. I think it may still be, I don't know. Um, the Bells Beach was made famous with the movie Point Break with uh, Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. And um, no, it wasn't ended up filming here. The actual scene was depicted to be Bells Beach, but it was filmed elsewhere. But anyway, um, I mentioned, I don't know whether I mentioned uh, Rip Curl, um, I think were the major sponsors down here at the Bell, uh, Bells Beach um, Pro International Pro Surfing Comps. Um, but Rip Curl and Quicksilver were actually born here in Torquay back in 1969. Um, I think the, they must have taken over the, uh, the Pro, which started way back in 1962. So, yeah, I've got it on a bad day. I should have probably been here yesterday. Surf was up. <laughs> but hey, yeah, sweet as. Bells Beach. we have it behind the van the official start or in our case the official end of the great ocean road we've just done the 245 odd kilometers that was built by 3,000 uh, ex um, military personnel and uh, what an incredible uh, trip it was we saw everything bush beach cliffs um, windy hills big downhills yeah you, you name it but yep here we are the busy metropolis of Torquay, which I'll save you for later. <laughs> I'm exhausted, we need to go lie down. Well, it's been two or three days um, since arriving in, um, well, it was Torquay. We came up to Geelong, which is where the spirit of Tasmania um, departs from to go to Tasmania. So we spent um, three days actually at this magic little campsite it's uh it's in armstrong in um geelong and uh yeah great little campsite They've got some really nice um accommodation bungalows um and their uh pull-up spots here got en suites so can't complain so uh yeah great little spot so we're going to uh, be up bright and early tomorrow we're catching an afternoon uh or a morning sailing to uh tasmania so stay with us Looking forward to this one. Good morning everyone. Good morning. We're here bright and early as you can see. It's dark. It's my fault. Yeah, somebody likes to be very punctual and uh, yeah, trust me, we're punctual. <laughs> Spirit of Tasmania, as discussed the other day, we turned up. We're ready to go, eh? Yes, nice and early. They say that the, the ship, you've got to be, the ship's gone by about 8 o'clock. We'll, we'll confirm that. And uh, 7.45 I think uh, boarding finishes. Well, I'm working backwards here. Yes, you are. And six o'clock in the morning is when they open the gates. But they do say that you can actually park up a couple hours before. Yep. And we're not the only ones. There's uh, one other wagon in the queue. But there seems to be a lot of people up at the uh, car park up there too. So at the back, yes. Yeah. So no, we're we're organised, ready to go. Um, yeah, at least we're here. We can. We've got the van there, so we can just sit back there and have your coffees that we didn't have this morning and uh, get ourselves prepared. Yep, all ready to go. We've got a couple of hours wait now and then the gates will be open and we can check in. And... Yep, we're going to yep. clean up now after getting up so early in the morning. <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> Well, we've been parked up for about, oh, about half an hour, 45 minutes, and um, 
yeah, just snuck in very, very quietly. So there's a, a beautiful little uh, sunrise starting to happen down there. It's a beautiful morning. And there's our ride. Just docking right now. Pretty cool. So it looks promising for the day. Super easy boarding, um, just wait at the gate, come on through, show your ticket, then they uh, check out the, uh, the gas bottles and what's on board, and um, like fresh fruit and vegetables, make sure you got none, and uh, yeah, move on down the lane. So we're now waiting for the call to board on the Spirit of Tasmania. Looking good, easy process. We are on the move. There's some white water down and behind me there. Leaving, leaving uh, Geelong. We're backing up, backing up at the moment. You know, spin it around and then uh, head out into the, uh, <laughs> what's the name of the, the Bass Strait. Gonna back up, spin around, out to Bass Strait. Shame about the weather. It's yuck. But smooth sailing. Um, what did you say? Two to three meters. Well, we're underway. He's just reversed it out from the uh, the dock here at uh, Geelong. I think the, where are we? Just over this side here is the, we backed out, spun it around, heading, heading for Tasmania. It's a pretty slick operation. They definitely keep to the schedule pretty well. Do not be late. But yeah, she's uh, pretty good. We'll go and sit the comfy, bit, comfy seat inside.
here we are. Our first taste of Devonport, um, Tasmania. Uh, but just basically just got out of the, off the ship and just drove like, it's like a kilometre up the road. Great little RV park, it's not exactly all that level but there's plenty of space. Bit of the old uh, sheep and uh, market garden out the back, but uh, that's how close it is to town. There's a, the ship's just uh, probably behind the stadium. So that's our first taste of it, asleep. And we're going to town, replenish some of our supplies for uh, vegetables and fruit that we lost. Um, to not being able to come over with it on the boat. <laughs> Spit that out, Dan. And um, yeah, and then we'll probably tootle out to probably the Trobe somewhere to start with and just get our bearings. Now, Bells Beach is um, 